Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog. We haven't done a vlog in a little while and I just really thought that this would calm my nerves a little bit and just kind of keep my mind occupied as my son who is my firstborn and now five years old just is starting kindergarten and he's also autistic so I'm just worried you know as a mom is and I thought it would help to have somebody to talk to you guys. So let's take you on my day. So I am just the type of person that when I'm feeling really anxious, I will declutter and rearrange the house. And if I have something big coming the next day, I will like get everyone's clothing laid out I am an over planner and I just can't stand when things don't go smoothly or like according to plan. It is a huge point of difficulty for me. So I'm just going to work packing Emmett's bag for the day. They asked that we write their name on like absolutely everything that they're bringing to school. So like all their individual markers and stuff like that. Which a couple of days ago I thought was really annoying but now that I'm panicking and need to keep my mind busy, it's kind of a blessing. I think what I'm looking forward to the least about having my kids start school at all is just dressing them during the winter time, being in Canada in like minus 30 degree weather throughout the winter, just the snow pants and all of the additional work it is to get them dressed in the morning. I'm just not excited for that at all. <laughs> And if you're wondering where to get this Minecraft backpack set that I have, I got it on Amazon and it is linked in my Amazon storefront and you can find that in the description box. And these cute shoes that we're using for his indoor shoes were a gift on his birthday. I'm pretty sure they were from Walmart. recently got her latest set of vaccines so she was up like all night she just wouldn't settle and then everyone was up this morning at like 6 a.m. and I didn't get to sleep till like 1 or 2 in the morning so we are exhausted and I know 
that tonight I'm just gonna get an even poorer sleep because I'm just so anxious about Emmett starting kindergarten. There is just so much extra to worry about when you have like a mostly nonverbal child or a totally nonverbal child. And he's pretty much never been away from me. But I've been doing everything in my power to kind of prepare both myself and him for this big change. It's a huge change for our lifestyle. We have been doing things like walking the route to school and talking about like road safety and what's going to be happening when he goes to school. I've shown him pictures of his teachers. If you're new here or don't know a whole lot about autism in general, that might seem like a bit excessive, but routine and stuff like that and just making sure I explain all of these things in advance is just so important to help him mentally prepare. Just been really focusing on the routine side of things, so that's uh, the morning routine, you know, getting him dressed like fully. We're trying to really focus on him getting dressed by himself, putting his shoes on, making sure that he knows his first and last name, just a bunch of extra precautions that I need to take. So it's an incredibly scary time, but I didn't want to homeschool because I didn't want to rob him of the opportunity that a classroom setting offers in socialization. It's a lot only like 12 o'clock but it feels like it's like 4 p.m already i still have no idea what i'm gonna do for dinner but i do know what emmett's going to be wearing for his first day of school tomorrow being over prepared is how i am dealing with my anxiety today so he's got some comfortable sweatpants and this cute striped shirt that his aunt got him just a couple days ago and i know my husband is not the type of person to wake up in the mornings he works really long days like the hours are very long so actually most days I do everything like <laughs> the day before. If we've got somewhere to go or somewhere to be, I prepare all the diaper bags, everything like well in advance just so that my husband can sleep in as late as possible and then I'm not running around panicking all morning trying to get everyone together. And while the girls are napping, I think now would probably be a good time for me to squeeze in a shower. Okay, our super quick shower is done. And now we are going to make Emmett's favorite lunch or snack or whatever you want to call it. And that is peanut butter and jelly wraps with banana. activity to keep me busy was just going through all of our books to donate some of them. Near our home someone has a free library mailbox type thing on their property so we often take books that we're finished with over there so that somebody else can enjoy them. Decluttering is just one of those things that always gives me a little nugget of peace. Aside from decluttering the books, the other space that I really want to work on soon is our little play area. I'm just on the lookout for one of those IKEA bookshelves for laying things out in a more Montessori style. Right now I have just a big catch-all bin for all of the toys and obviously that makes it really hard to pick out a toy and really know what we have to play with. But I am not willing to pay full price for one when I see them pop up on the Facebook marketplace fairly often. I'm just picky. I want the white one, not the black one, or at least like a wooden bookshelf. 
But that is just about everything that I was going to do for my afternoon. Now for the late afternoon slash evening, I'm just going to cry periodically and cuddle my kids. Okay, tell me what story we're going to read. This story is 